authors and writers, this is Dr. Judith Bryles, and we're looking at a short publishing tip in less than three minutes. Do you know who you're really writing for? Who is your ideal reader, male or female? Is there an age to it? Is there a hobby they love? Is there a place they like to go vacation? Is there something that they love to eat? How about TV, movies? There are so many things that can define who your reader is. Now, most people think when they finally get into, oh, I am writing for someone, it is not for everyone. If you think that, that's the kiss of death for your book. But it is for someone, so who is that person? If you put your laptop down, you put your, your writing pen down, and you look across from you, and you're gonna have a cup of coffee, or a glass of wine, or a beer, or fill in the blank, and it's your reader, who is that? Who is that, do you know? Also, you have another reader, so you actually have two. And a lot of people don't think two. So one is who you're writing for, your ideal, but the other person you're writing for is, guess who? Google. Google is the number one search engine. They are looking for what you have, bring in, for what you salivate, for what you, um, they can chew on, for what they can spread out. So when you're writing and you're putting your descriptions out, when you're using your promo, Google's very hungry. So you want to make sure that your copy that goes with it brings it all together. Thank you.